Good morning. <laughs> it's Tyler's actual birthday. So it's like seven something and he went to get all of his coffee as he does every morning. <sighs> and so I was like, had a breath trying to put this on the door. Hold on. I had to use so, so much tape. So please don't make fun of it. <laughs> the humidity, it's just like peeling right off. But anyway, I found this little banner on uh, Amazon. And then these I printed, I can put the site where I found them online. <laughs> they don't look great. Um, but they're so cute. So we thought this would be kind of fun. So I was just out here and Benita was out here sneaking around with me like, okay, how's it looking? <laughs> um, so anyway, so yeah, he should be back in a minute or two. And that's just a fun little Disney birthday surprise. Oh my goodness. Here comes the birthday boy. 29 today. <laughs> we got... Uh, one of the nice things is that a lot of resorts here at Pop Century is one of the ones included. Um, they have a playground area and sometimes I know a lot of people want to push and push and push and go to the parks and ride the rides with their kids and all that. But especially with younger kids, I know a lot of times it's good to just let them have a little time <laughs> to go to a playground and just play. You know what I mean? So I know a lot of people come here and they spend a lot of money to come to Disney. So they push and push and push. But I think you'll be a lot happier if you just let your kid go to the playground for 30 minutes and play and go down the slides and just be a kid for a little bit. We are on our way to Magic Kingdom. It's crazy we've been here for four days. We haven't been to Magic Kingdom yet. But it's, it kind of works out well because we're ending our year in Magic Kingdom. But that's the appropriate way, I feel like. It's, it's so hard because if you're doing one park per day, you're like, do I start on Magic Kingdom or do I end on Magic Kingdom? Decisions, tough decisions have to be made, guys. <laughs> So we are in line to get our, we've already renewed passes, our annual yeah. passes, which I know like at least right now, like the day we're filming this, you can't get new ones, but right, we had right. them from way prior. Yeah. And so um, we're going to, yeah, we just need to update our, uh, we, we, we already renewed them, we just have to get our new cards. Right? Yeah, so we paid for it, need the new cards because it expired technically yesterday. Yes, yeah, or, um, yeah, yeah. or something like that, Two but anyway. Ago, but yeah. we didn't go to a park yesterday. So yeah, That's we just got to get yeah. our new updated cards. So that is what we're in line for at Guest Relations. And last and time I was... Is, yeah, the Guest Relations line is usually very fast or very long. Yeah, like there is no... And even if it's long, it's either very fast or very slow. Like what it just it? depends on the, the day. The Magic Band wasn't working and you waited... I mean, you waited for 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, and it was a newer so. one, so in all fairness, but... But no, it, no, you waited it was a long, for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you just fly right through, so... And it I seems to be... It was a weird day that day, maybe, I hope. Yeah. You had to wait to get into... Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going into Magic Kingdom. Ah, even the soundtrack, it's so good. Yay. Gigi's gonna see the castle for the first time as a somewhat cognizant human being. <laughs> wow! Do you see it? How cool is that? Wow. I gotta have on my sunglasses. <laughs> <I'm crying. laughs> what do you think, Gigi? Is that so I can cool? Tell you're crying behind there. <laughs> Alrighty, we are heading in. Gigi is so pumped about the castle. We got a photo pass picture too. So we're gonna go uh, try to ride the carousel because Gigi saw it through the castle and needs to ride it. And then it was like a five minute wait for Little Mermaid. So we're gonna try to ride that one too. We're about to get on the carousel here in a second, which again, I don't think we've ever done. Have we ever done the carousel here? I can't remember. All these years of coming and we've never done the carousel. So we're gonna do the carousel today, which I'm excited about and then uh, I think we might try to do Ariel after this. So this carousel, it's pretty cool. It's got some cool history. It wasn't just built for Walt Disney World. It used to be back in, uh, I think it was Belle Isle in Detroit. I think it was built uh, by the Canadian Toboggan Company. I'm mixing up all my facts now. But it was built, uh, and then it was there in Detroit for a long time, and then they moved it here. And when the Imagineers got these horses, they realized there was a bunch of layers of paint and everything on them, but as they sanded them down, they realized they were really ornately carved. And so for years, they've kind of kept them up and kept them uh, looking really nice and painted them and all that. But uh, it's pretty cool that there's some actual history behind this carousel. Oh, 
look at this line for Gaston's. I don't think I've ever seen it that long. Wow. Impressive. We're gonna go ride Ariel. Has a pretty short wait time right now. This is one of my favorite queues in all of Walt Disney World. It's so well themed and it's so pretty. They got the waterfall. There's a waterfall back behind us too. It really is just such a uh, pleasant little experience here. <laughs> and here in just a moment, we'll be in the air conditioning. So even better. Oh, isn't that pretty though? Nice. Oh my gosh, we're about to get on! Oh, Ariel is such a cute little ride. It really is. They did such a good job. Like Jessica was saying, though, well, okay. My favorite thing is that the very, er, in the under the sea part, you can hear the guy playing the saxophone. Yes, I like that. But when you are coming out of the under the sea area, you can hear the fish right in front of you who's playing the saxophone. You can hear the saxophone part coming right out of there. I think that's yeah, such that a cool touch. It sounds like you're actually hearing like a live uh, performance of <laughs> sea creatures. It's great. Um, and then Jessica was bringing up though at the end, she's like, you know what? They don't have Vanessa or anything. They go from kiss the girl into to Ursula oh is defeated, Ursula's and defeated yeah right. it's like did they run out of money at the end that they yeah, just they had to just, it really is odd they could have added one or two more scenes to make it make some little yeah yeah. Like yeah 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 otherwise it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> um so we're going over to chef mickey's right now for my birthday breakfast uh hopefully uh i get to swing some uh, napkins around for my birthday that'll make me very happy <laughs> that would be awesome right? <laughs> All right, we can't decide if we're going to monorail or walk to uh, yeah, Contemporary. As we get closer, we're going to make that decision. Okay. Oh, the Dapper Dans are up there singing. Good timing on our part. So we were getting on the monorail and like we sat down and they were like, ooh, everyone get off. Oh. It's not, I don't know what was going on. It's not working right now. So we are going to walk to the Contemporary, which we were kind of debating between <laughs> both anyway. So there we go. So we are going to do the walk. I'm kind of curious to time it. It's 11.28 now. I'll just see how long it takes okay. us. But then, then breakfast. And I could <laughs> really use some coffee and a big old thing of ice water. <laughs> So we're uh, walking, like we said, and we just saw some sirens going by, and all of the monorails are like backing out of the contemporary. Yeah, this, is the one, this is the one that was in front of us. Yeah. Backwards, back to the Listen to this bird. He's making so many different sounds. He sounded like a siren, then a seagull, and then like a, I don't even know. If we eat half of this, I'll be impressed. <laughs> and then I got a special birthday pancake. Thank you. I want more juice. You want more juice? Okay. Wow, this is a unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I've got my birthday mimosa. And then Jessica, what did you get? A uh, Bloody Mary. I thought it'd be like half the size. Also, I've got a whole meal. In the top there's got like My friend Emily would be so proud. Cheese and olives. Wow. <laughs> I got a birthday pancake and a birthday cupcake. 
It's a lot of birthday, baby. A lot of birthday going on there. <laughs> so special sprinkles, little Miss Gigi's getting. We've gotten to meet all the characters, and Gigi and Goofy dance for each other. It was so funny. Getting the sprinkles. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, leaving Chef Nikki's now, feeling way too full because, of course. Um, but we are going to, I think, maybe look at the shops here for a few minutes, then go get on the monorail and go over to the Grand Floridian, walk around for a little bit, and then back to the Magic Kingdom. Also, look at all these, all this uh, construction stuff they have up here that they're working on the rooms. Supposedly, they're doing a uh, an Incredibles overlay in the rooms. Um, I, I don't think that's been officially confirmed yet, but people have said they've seen uh, like the soft goods going in that have Incredibles uh, things on them. Um, so I would assume that's actually going to happen, but I actually think it's going to be cool. I think they'll do a really nice job and it fits in with the motif of what they're doing here. Honestly, I feel like it's been a long time coming. They need to do something here at the Contemporary. Um, and uh, I think honestly, if they do a good job with it, which I'm sure they will, I think the Incredibles is actually a really good call on uh, a theming here at uh, Contemporary. I guess we shall see, time will tell. So we just finished our breakfast, like I said, and we went downstairs because I didn't, I've never actually done this. I've never come down here before. So this is where California Grill, that's where you check in and then you take the elevators up. Um, so if you've ever done California Grill, this is where you check in, same area, they've got a bunch of ballrooms and stuff down here. But here's a fun fact that not a lot of people know. So right up here is the ballroom of the Americas. And just down the hallway here, in Ballroom of the Americas B, there's A. Ballroom of the Americas B, just slight, slightly down here. The doors are locked right now. But right inside this room right here, in 1974, I think it was, a young man by the name of Richard, Richard Milhouse Nixon was in this ballroom when he gave his very famous I am not a crook speech. I was right here, is inside that ballroom. And I think the doors are locked, so we can't go in. But that was right here. How wild is that? That piece of American history. Uh, yeah, you can't see anything in there. <laughs> I tried. Uh, that huge piece of American history that gets quoted all the time that happens. We talk about part of the American lexicon. <laughs> happened right there. And a lot of people walk by here have no idea that that happened here. Well, so what's the situation with these down here? They're all like helter-skelter. There's only like four of them or three of them. And they're like off and they're not even. <laughs> they just had some extras. Yeah, they just threw down here. Doors. I'm like, what? Uh, that's so wild. So many people like go to Chef Mickey's or go to all that kind of stuff and never come down here and have no idea that the I'm not a crook speech right there. Very cool. All right, moving on. Wow. So first time riding the monorail for real now. First time they, they made us get off. It was a drill. Yeah, it was just a drill. The seats in here are blue, which is what they've always been. And the one we got on earlier that they made us get off had gray seats. Yeah, see over there you can see the gray. You can see it right kind of there too. But I think the gray looks really nice. It's like a new material. Can't yeah. try to get a good shot of it here. It's kind of hard. Um, but the material itself looks really nice too. I think it kind of updates the whole, the whole look here. We've got these plexiglass dividers here too. Alrighty, we have made it back to the Magic Kingdom and now we are going to we're at a few rides. I don't know, just kind of we're do might do the people mover, maybe Dumbo. Wait, times aren't too bad. Yeah, they really aren't. But Jungle Cruise was 70 minutes and even I don't know, uh, is that the, because the movie's coming out, whatever it's I don't coming know. out. I know they were making changes or just did make changes to it too. And, yeah, there were yeah, so, a few changes they made. So that's like maybe 70 that's minutes, why. but like the uh, uh, even Seven Dwarfs Mine Train was like 50, so <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ride some rides and then we have a dinner reservation at Tony's Town Square restaurant here in a few hours So let's just go explore and see what we see Taking a shady shortcut to the Tomorrowland Terrace Anytime we can get a shady shortcut, we're gonna take it Thank <laughs> you. 
We love this ride. I'm so excited to ride it. It was closed down for a hot minute, so I'm excited to do it again. There you can see the construction going on over there on the uh, Tron ride. Ah, uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. on the people mover she, she saw the uh, the race cars that the speedway and she really wants to go ride them so her and I are gonna go right there uh, Jess is getting us some iced coffee uh, and then we're well, gonna do a little shopping but Gigi and I are gonna go ride some race cars it's gonna be awesome Tyler and Gigi are getting on the, what is this Tomorrow called? Tomorrowland Speed Auto, 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 yeah. We don't know the name of it, clearly. But uh, that, and it's gonna be so cute. I think Gigi's really excited. And I just went and got some ice water for all of us because we were definitely hot and definitely thirsty. Some coffee, I got the, um, oh crap, what did I say it's called? Jamaican. Yes, shaken Jamaican. But last time I got it, it's pretty strong as it is. So I got some cream and vanilla added. And it's really good. And then Tyler wanted the nitro cold brew from Joffrey's. So it's like the kiosk they have back in Tomorrowland. So that worked out really well. There they are. That was so fast. Heading into uh, Storybook Circus. I think we're going to ride Dumbo in a minute, but we're going to cool off. Oh, did they? No, it's closed. Uh, really, I just go in for the smells, but bummer. Darn. Put my head in and give it a smell, please. We'll do Dumbo. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun. I think Gigi's really gonna love this ride. I think so too. She's been killing these rides. She's like every single ride we've gone, and she's like, this is the this is the best. And I was worried some of these. I'm like, yeah, I thought she'd be afraid of them. Either way, if you were like suddenly scared of something. Yeah, but this has been awesome. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to uh, go through some shops here now, uh, try and cool off a little bit. Gigi has been a rock star. We did a lot of rides. Honestly, I didn't think we'd get this many rides in. So we did a lot of the ones that were on the list of ones I really wanted to do with Gigi, and she loved all of them, which is awesome. Now, I wanna show you something really fast. But we are here in Storybook Circus, and I wanted to show you something really fast. That little guy right there, that is Humphrey the Bear. And we're gonna talk more about him probably in tomorrow's vlog, but maybe the next day. But now you've seen him here in Storybook Circus. That's one of the places he is. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more. Just, just you wait. We're over here on Main Street in the little uh, offshoot here, off the main little drag. This is like one of my favorite little areas. And I know I talk about it all the time, but it's just so quiet. Like no one's ever back here. It is just ah, such a relaxing little area right there by the busy, busy Main Street, which you're literally dodging people the whole time. And then you come back here and it's just kind of a quiet little pocket of the park. Ah. Nice. Sounds like the bands are coming. Let's go take a look. I love the Main Street Philharmonic. In the Emporium and I saw this and I'm like oh my gosh this looks like Blanche Devereaux's wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right we're going to have dinner tonight at Tony's Town Square and one of my favorite things about Tony's Town Square restaurant is this little right here. They've got the little dog prints for the arrow from uh, Lady and the Tramp. They got the two little dog prints in there isn't that fun? 
All right, we're sitting down at Tony's and I'm pretty sure the prints on the wall over there are actual original uh, prints by like Don Ducky Williams, who was one of the Disney animators. I know it used to be, I don't know if those two, I thought they had a bunch of them, but. Oh, those are over there too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are original prints. I'm sorry, they're original, they're not prints, they're originals, uh, which is pretty cool. Also this uh, area itself, this restaurant has a lot of cool history too. And I'm trying to remember all of that. I think originally the concept was that this building was gonna be a hotel. And then obviously that never happened. But originally uh, when it opened, it was sponsored by Oscar Mayer hot dogs, but they didn't serve hot dogs. They had a um, Monte Cristo sandwich, which was like, their, they were famous for their Monte Cristo sandwich, but it was sponsored by Oscar Mayer. Then it was sponsored by uh, Hormel, like the chili, the canned chili company. Um, and then eventually became Tony's Town Square and they you know, transformed it. What's funny is these, these prints out here, I'm pretty sure used, they used to be on the actual dishes themselves but people kept stealing the dishes, so they had to stop doing them. Now they just have like regular white dishes because people kept stealing them. <laughs> but yeah, I know that's a, it's got some, it's got a bunch of cool little history and fun facts like that, but everything smells really good. And actually I'm a lot hungrier than I realized. <laughs> All right, I got a Stella and then chicken parm. And then they gave some focaccia too, and the focaccia was really good. Well, I'm a part of the Clean Plate Club, so I think you uh, can assume that I liked it. I had it, uh, the chicken parmesan here a few years ago, and this one, I remember liking it, but this one was just so good. I think they might have changed the recipe or something, but that was, that was fantastic.